Today we are going to look at three word problems and figure out how we could best solve them. So the first one says, the sports store at the mall got 15 boxes of soccer jerseys yesterday. Each box had 23 jerseys. How many jerseys did the store get in all? So the first thing we wanna do is think about what this question is asking us. What's an equation you could write to represent this problem? Each box had 23 jerseys and there were 15 of them. So we're gonna go ahead with this being our equation, 15 times 23. And we're gonna use the letter J for jerseys. 15 times 23 equals J. So before you solve the problem, I want you to think about in your head how you could estimate what would be a reasonable guess for your answer to be, so that when you do get your answer, you know if it's in the ballpark of being correct. Once you have your estimate, I would like for you to think about your different strategies and press pause and give it a go. All right, I'm gonna assume you paused. So I'm thinking some of you might have done what we did yesterday with a ratio table, and that would have looked like maybe boxes, jerseys. So in the past, we went side to side. This time, I'm going to do it this way, just to show. One box had 23 jerseys, correct? 10 boxes, 10 times 23, you're gonna use the 23 and attach a zero, 230. I know that half of 10 is five, half of 230 would be 100 is half of 200, and 15 is half of 30. So if I take these two together, 10 plus five, that's 15. If I take these two together, I add 230 plus 115, I'm gonna get my answer, 345. 345 jerseys, is that what you got? Did you do it a different way? Maybe you broke apart the 15 into 10 and five, and you did 10 times 23, is 230, and five times 23, we're using the five is half of 10 strategy, so half of 230 is 115, and then you put those together, that's 15 times 23, you're gonna put these two together to be your answer, 230 plus 115 is 345. Is that what you did? Or did you do it this way with the box method? Maybe, just maybe, you took 15, 10, and five. You took 23, 20, and three, and you multiplied within each box. So 20 times 10, two times one is two. Here's two zeros to attach. 2 times 5 is 10. Here's a 0 to attach. 3 times 10. 3 times 1 is 3. Attach your 0. 3 times 5 is 15. And then you would add all of these boxes up. And you should have got 345. Is that what you did? Or did you do something different? I wish I could see and you could tell me all about it. We're gonna move on to the next problem. Number two, Keisha's dad got 25 cases of water for the soccer tournament next week. Each case contains 24 bottles of water. How many bottles of water did he get in all? So again, you wanna be thinking about an estimate. Oh, first you wanna be thinking about what the equation is asking us. The equation is asking us, there's 
25 cases of water and there's 24 bottles in each case. So how many bottles of water? And we'll use a B for bottles. So again, you're gonna pause it, you're gonna do this work, and then we'll see what you did. Well, I wish I could see what you did. We'll talk about what I think you might have done. Okay, so you might have, for this one, done the box method. Give that a go. <clears throat> We've got 25 and 24. We say two times two is four with two zeros. Two times five is 10 with one zero. Four times two is eight with that zero. And four times five is 20. We're gonna add these together. We've got zeros coming down. We have eight plus two is 10. One plus four is five, plus one is six. Did you get 600 bottles? I hope so. Did you do something else? Did you do a ratio table maybe? Where you said cases and bottles. So we remember one case had 24. So you could do 10 would be 240. Five is half of 10. Half of 240 is 120. Hmm, are we there yet? How about 20? If I double the 10, I get 20. So I'm gonna double the 240 for this side, 480. Hmm. If I add these together, that's gonna to give me 25. So I would add these together, 120 plus 480 is 600. Whew. Okay, last one. Mrs. Jones is the gym teacher at PS 129 public school, 129. She teaches 450 students. If she has 25 students in each class, how many classes does Mrs. Jones teach? So this one's switching it up on us. This one's asking us, the total is 450, and there's 25 in each class. So how many classes? So this is gonna be a division problem. We're gonna take 450 and divide it by 25. So go ahead and pause. Do the work, think about it. All right, we are gonna unpause. Did anyone think to use a ratio table for division. I'll show you how that would work. If we put one over here, one class has 25 students. We need to get to 450 on this side over here. So if there's 10 classes, that's 250 students. Five is half of 10. Half of 250 would be 125. We're gonna add these together, 10 and five, to get 15. So we're gonna add these together to get this answer here. Okay, we're getting closer. We're at 375, we need to get to 450. So I know from money, that if you have three quarters, three 25 cent pieces, I'd have 75 cents. Now, if I were to add these two together, 15 plus three, I would get 18. 
375 plus 75 is going to give us 450. There it is. 18 classes. Hmm. Did you do it a different way? I wish I could see how you did it. That's it for today. I hope you all are doing well and have a wonderful spring break and I'll talk to you soon.